Hello everyone, today we're going to be making, ma making some custom How to Train Your Dragon stickers. So, first of all, you're going to need a hard surface. You can use a desk, a table, or a hardcover book, or a Pokemon binder, like me. Um, second of all, you'll need some paper, just regular printer paper will do. Next, you'll need scissors. Uh, just a normal pencil, mechanical pencil, things like that. You'll need um, packing tape, clear packing tape. Make sure it's clear. And parchment paper. You can use wax paper, but it doesn't turn out as good. It just it peels too easily. So yeah, parchment paper. And some colored pencils. I have a pack of colored pencils here. You can also use markers and other things like that. Okay, so let's begin. So, you're just gonna take your piece of paper and draw a design on it. It can be anything. So I'm gonna draw a couple designs and then I'll give, so that'll be like an example of something you can draw. Um, so let me just, let me just draw them real quick. All right, I made a couple basic drawings. This one says Hydrogen Dragon. This one says Dragon Rider. This one is Toothless. This one is a Dremelian, because that is my favorite dragon. And I did one of Stonefly. And now, I've just gotta color them in with pencils. So, gotta get this right for my transition. Okay. So I'm gonna do the pencils. All right, and I colored them all in, um, except for this one, because I don't know how you'd color in that, but now I'm gonna cut them. So I have my scissors, and basically, you're gonna cut them with a little bit of an edge around them. Here, let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Just put you down. Okay. So, for example, this one. Oops, you can't see. Um, I'm gonna cut it with a bit of excess white paper. So you can see I'm just cutting, cutting with a little excess around it. And you don't have to do this, but personally I just like the look of it better than just the straight line. And also um, that way if you, uh, you don't accidentally cut the sticker itself. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cut all these out and then we'll go on to the next step. I now have all of them cut out. Excuse my dirty carpet. Um, so yeah, these are all cut out. And now, I'm just gonna move them aside. I'm gonna get my parchment paper, okay? And now I'm just gonna get something to flatten it out because right now it's kind of rolled up. So let me just get some heavy stuff. Okay, I've got some things here. Just use to flatten this out. Okay, so now it's nice and flat, and you're gonna take your um, packing tape and just get a nice strip about as long as your parchment paper. That's a little longer than my parchment paper. No, wait. No, it'll fit. Okay, now you're just gonna, you see the tape? You see the tape? I'm just gonna place it down evenly onto the parchment paper. Press it down. And flat. There you go. Now, you're gonna take your paper cutouts and place them onto the tape, like so. Kind of fit them onto the tape. Excuse that, that's just the camera tripod. And 
if you have one like this that's too big to fit on the tape it's too tall then take another piece and just put that over top make sure it overlaps the tape a little bit so i'm just gonna move these aside so i can put more tape don't need a super huge thing make sure it overlaps a little bit there we go now i'm gonna re put these here my battery is low so i've got to finish this okay and now put another layer of packing tape on top and then oops and then i'll show you how to cut them out Okay, so I've just put another layer of packing tape on top and now you're just gonna cut them out and this time you have to have a, like an excess around it. Okay, it's not an option because that's what's gonna help it stick. So you're just gonna cut all of them out from the parchment paper and stuff and then after we'll take a look at our finished product. All right, and here's the finished product. So I think they look really good. Um, yeah, so I'll show you how to stick them onto stuff weird noises but yeah i really like how they look they're a bit they're nice and shiny if you don't want them shiny there's nothing you can really do about that so yeah nice and shiny that's pretty much all so now i'm gonna stick them onto stuff okay i just have this cabinet here side of a cabinet that i'm gonna stick them on so i have this stormfly one and basically to peel off the stuff you just have to kind of kind of like a real sticker well these are real stickers but with the other sticker like a store-bought sticker you just gotta kind of find the peel there we go peel off the parchment paper backing and then you can just stick them on Come on focus <laughs> it's right there so now, I'm just going to do it with all my other ones. My battery is really low. I'm sorry. Now I'll show you. Okay, this is the finished result. I think they look super duper cool. So yeah, I just have them all here. You can literally put them anywhere you want. I wouldn't suggest putting them on your wall because they are packing tape and that will probably take your paint off. Um, so yeah, super cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.